G'day folks, what I'm about to show you might just blow you away. There are yabbies everywhere in this spot. Right, let there be light. Look at this. Look at all these yabbies. There are yabbies everywhere and there are carp everywhere. Look at that, yabbies and carp. Where I am now is drying up and these carp will all die and the yabbies will move to somewhere with a bit more water. Now for the main attraction, look. Yabbies. Yabbies everywhere. Dead carp. Now I'm on with Tim. Nice big black yabbies there. Look, big black yabbies just walking around up here. I'm with my friend Tim. Can you turn that big light on for me, Tim? Tim's in charge of the bright light. Righto, have a look at this. They are all big yabbies, or all, some are small. Actually, most of them are medium. Mediums, there's no really big donkeys in here. But they are all the way along here, look. Tim's got my massive big Olight uh, Marauder up there. As far as the eye can see. Look, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of yabbies. Look at them all lined up. They are everywhere. Yeah, there's heaps in the water too. Along here. Look at all the yabbies in, heaps of yabbies in there. But look at this, a couple of big old carp. This is drying up. There's a frog, a carp, and a yabby all at once. That's a big yabby. A couple of dead carp, a couple of live carp that'll soon be dead because they're just rapidly running out of water. A couple of very stressed carp, a few more big stressed carp over there. Look at them all. But back to the main attraction. These yabbies are trapped. They want to get into the big swamp that's upstream of the, this brick, this concrete wall. But this concrete wall is acting as a barricade. So what I'm going to do... Tim and I are going to keep a few yabbies for a feed, maybe a dozen or so each. And then we're going to take a whole heap and rescue them by moving them above this barricade and putting them in the main swamp. And look at that little fella. He's making his way in by himself. How incredible is that? Look at them all. They're all gathered here where the last little bit of water is trickling out of the swamp. This was raging a few weeks ago. It was a raging torrent of water, but it's uh, the heat's come, the rain stopped, they are, it's almost about to stop flowing. And when it does, all those carp will die. And these yabbies, the ones that I haven't managed to relocate above the wall, will uh, make their way downstream into the creek. Anyway, let's start rescuing. Right, time to get some of these yabbies. Look at these big carp. Wow. There's a, a dozen or so there. Another dozen or so. Another dozen or so. <laughs> They are everywhere. Look at that.
Look at that, that's a big white bucket, chock a block full of yabbies. Now I've got a foam container, a big white foam container in the car. Tim's going to take this bucket now, empty the yabbies into the container, then bring it back and then I'll refill it. Right, uh, I'll grab a few by hand here in this little spot. Feisty that one, yeah. And I'll go back down to where the heap of mud that I haven't touched with the net yet. Look at them all. There are thousands of them. Yabbies everywhere! Yeah, exactly. The carp will die. And the yabbies will be moved, or many of them will be moved, to a safe place where they can spawn and breed and multiply and live happily ever after. And then end up in one of my open top lift nets. <laughs> Look at the size of this big kahuna. Where did he come from? It's about three times the size of anything else. It's a massive big random yabby. There's so many here, I'll never be able to get them all, but certainly got a lot. Look at all them carp. Right, now there's still quite a few yabbies in here. You're never going to get them all. But we have managed to get the bulk of them out. And then we're going to take them back to the car, sort them all out and make sure that the yabbies with eggs and the smaller ones get moved into safer places. We could take out these little ones and any be fine with eggs, keep a feed and rescue a heap of yabbies. A couple of small ones into the bucket. Here's the status so far. We've been going about 15 minutes. I've probably knocked about an inch off the surface. All them ones there, there's probably 30 or 40 yabbies in there. Probably 10 or a dozen undersized and there's got to be at least 25 or 30 with eggs. There's a bucket full here without eggs. And this big kahuna, this goliath, is going in. So, so far, there's probably 20 or 30 yabbies with eggs ready to go in the main swamp. And we've still got all them ones to grade. Mm. Right oh, now we're not even halfway through grading them, probably a bit over a quarter, and all these ones are going into the main swamp. Look at that. Many of these have got eggs. Eggs, eggs, go into the swamp and breed up yabbies. That one's a bit small. Eggs, most of these have either got eggs or they're a bit too small. There you go. <laughs> On your way. You just want to get a bit of water. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Now it's time to go and keep grading. And this is Tim's bucket. Tim's half full now. For anybody wondering here in Victoria, the bag limit for yabbies is 150 per person, or five litres of yabby tails, or 20 litres of whole yabbies, whichever one you prefer. 
But if you go with five litres of Yabby tails, you still can't have more than 150 tails. But that's uh, probably not even a quarter of your bag limit, I reckon, Tim. Here's where we're at. We're probably not even halfway through grading all these Yabbies. Those ones there have all got eggs. There's probably a hundred yabbies in there for Tim and I. We're gonna go, we're gonna take them home, we're gonna go halves. So there's probably, I don't know, 50 each, I suppose, yeah. something like that. And I'm gonna, gonna take all that, I'm not even gonna grade anymore. We've got enough, we've got what we need. All of these ones, half of which will have eggs, we're gonna go and put into the swamp. I'm puffed. That's gotta be 20 kilograms of yabbies there. And I've carried them up here to the unloading zone. The release point. Where you can still see yabbies from the ones I released earlier. Ah, I catch my breath, then I'll put these in. Righto. Tim's blue bucket is full of yabbies for us to divide up. I've put a whole heap back earlier, and now it's time for the main bulk. We are the human yabby ladders. It's like a fish ladder. How many you reckon's there, Tim? A couple of hundred? Yeah, at least. A little more making their way back in. A few bugs around. Ha! <laughs> I just waved my hand in front of my face to shoot the bugs and I turned my light down. I've got my motion sensored O light. You wave your hand in front of it to adjust the brightness. And I just turned it down by shooing bugs. And he's, oh, he's alive. I thought he was dead. There'll be a few dead ones in there. There's always going to be a bit of a mortality rate when you do this, but yeah. on the whole, we've probably just stocked a few hundred yabbies into there, and many of which, including this big one here, are just full of eggs. The human yabby ladder. So many people would have just taken them all for a feed, you know, just scooped them up and got out of there. But you've got to think long term, Tim, don't you? Sure do. It's good now on a wet year when there's yabbies everywhere. See you later mate. There are going to be so many yabbies in there. Well, after rescuing a few hundred yabbies, this is the harvest. You ripper. Folks, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Something a little bit different for me. If you've enjoyed this video one-tenth of as much as I've enjoyed filming it, then you would have loved it because I've just had so much fun. This is unbelievable. Thank you all very, very much for watching.